Hey guys, the Cinnamon123 here with another Minecraft video. And today I am doing an update video on the newest uh, pre release. So, one of the first things that you should note about this pre release is that now wooden items have a use. That's right, kiddos. Now we can put this wooden axe in the furnace and then this oak wood. And look, we are burning our wooden tools. Finally, we got a use for them, and look, it's going to produce coal just like normal. Uh, also, uh, the uh, villagers, we are no longer communist. Russian dancing men, I'm dancing with a purple hen. I've also got this ballpoint pen. Now we have a free capitalist system. Everybody can pick and choose their profession as they wish and not just automatically be assigned to. Uh, villager. Look at this guy, he's all old school. Um, also, apparently some changes have been made to pick block. I assume that that's referring to... Uh, there was an issue with uh, reeds. That you couldn't pick them up in the last release. And, uh, yeah, we can pick reeds now. See that? Now with the pick block key, we can pick up reeds. Um, there are probably a few other things that I'm missing in this release. Um, there have been several changes to the um, uh, to the system as a whole. It looks like a core change has been made, and I am certainly feeling the benefits. Um, as you guys can see, I am making a video in a pre-release, which means that I uh, see that I'm in a pre-release and everything, and I'm not getting terrible frame rates, which means that uh, the system has been optimized somewhat. Also, server and client are now much more alike. Um, you can see that. If I press, oh, wait a second, uh, let's see, i got to turn my chat settings, let's put that on show. Alright, now if I open up my um, user menu, I can, uh, you can see that everything is moving around in front of me, so uh, that's really nice. Oh yes, one more thing about this, uh, you can now also pick minecarts, which is awful useful. I know that uh, that was kind of a, a bit of an issue for me in the past, but uh, now we've got none of those issues anyway. Also new in this release, um, the new mechanics with this uh, world setup that I mentioned earlier. Uh, basically, what it does is it basic the Minecraft is now running a one-person server instead of running uh, a separate client thing. So uh, while that may improve frame rates for some people, uh, it may lower them for others. Uh, this is most obvious whenever you're like placing a rail or something. It, for a split second, you see how it's turning sideways before aligning the way that it needs to go. Um, that's basically, uh, that it's just like a server takes a second to update also, something you should know about this uh, uh, pre-release, if you've had a game in creative mode before, um, for some reason, it gets changed to survival uh, with this release. Um, as you can see, there are still probably a few bugs to work out with the new thing, uh, with the new system, because there are... Um, you can see there's a little bit of a delay in uh, me hitting the mobs and them actually being updated. Could be a, just a little bit of a frame rate issue or something. I don't, I don't know for sure, but uh, it might be that. Uh, also, book and quill. Uh, I don't know if this is a change. Let me go ahead and put my uh, game mode back to creative mode. But uh, book and quill. Uh, this was added in the li latest pre-release. Um, Basically, you don't have to sign it anymore. Uh, I don't know if this was the case anymore, but the book is written. And you don't have to sign it anymore. Uh, you can just press done. And whenever you open it back up, it's got everything in it still. I can drop it and pick it back up. And uh, everything's still written in it. So the data is still stored in these. It's just, um, you know, whenever I sign it, the book. That's whenever it gets its name, the book, and I can't change it anymore. So yeah, uh, that's a nice feature. You don't have to write all your books in one go, and there's where all the communists are. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in this release. Uh, there have been a few changes to Silk Touch, as I probably have mentioned already. 
Um, I don't think that it changes what the uh, mob spawners pick up. I'm pretty sure they still break. At least they did whenever I tested it out. And um, I think that maybe... I can't think of anything else that could be picked up that couldn't beforehand. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update video. I had just gotten kind of out of the habit of doing these, and I felt like doing it again. Um, you can see here I've got another tutorial set up. You'll probably can expect that tomorrow or roundabouts. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this is the Cinnamon123 signing out.